All right, round 19, guys. And I am completely out of ammo in the Reaper. So I might actually run through and buy the max ammo here. I know I said it was pretty expensive, but uh, it's going to be 500 points cheaper than the wall ammo. And every last point counts when you're trying to save up. 42,000 for Bible ending. Well, they're definitely getting harder to kill now. So, it probably would have been a little bit more practical for me to have not pack punched. Uh, the PPSH just in terms of getting more points and getting cheap ammo and stuff like that but you know what I don't even care I like to have a pack of punched it might take a couple of rounds longer but that's all oh yeah max ammo it's gonna save me a little bit of money Let's try and use up what we can in this first before we grab that those willow leaves, they do tend to obscure your vision a fair bit in a lot of parts of this map. Man, doing some work with this Reaper. So we're almost a quarter of the way there to the Bible ending. In terms of points anyway. But at this point we have opened up every single thing in the map. That'll keep him out for a sec. Okay, let's go on another run down here. We might actually get stamina up just to uh, just to try that out in this map. It's pretty cool having Black Ops perks in a World at War custom map. I've actually got enough ammo to go into the next round, so we're all good. Well, let's try a bit of camping up here at round 20. See how we go. Switch to the... Whoa! I actually didn't mean to drop. <laughs> I didn't mean to drop down there. Oh well. So they're going to come pouring out of the house there and dropping down from that that area where the uh, zip line is. Oh, beautiful. This will speed things up a little bit. Double points and an insta-kill. The perfect combo. Try and get some knife kills here. Sweet. Ten grand. Oh, we got the boss zombie over there. He should have given him a name or something. I don't know if that's possible. I know the NPCs can have names. But... He's more of a zombie with extra health. I don't know how he's put him in. But it's really cool. It's a cool uh, extra thing to this map. Adds a new dimension to it. Something a little bit unique. 
I know there have been like uh, boss zombies in like zombie realism and stuff like that, but they look the same as the other zombies, and they are a fair bit harder than this guy to kill as well, to be honest. I haven't played zombie realism for a while, I should get, go back and play a few more of those maps. Try and rank up a bit further. Not even close, freak man. Okay. So, getting a little bit low on ammo here, but we'll see how we go. Maybe we can get lucky and get another max ammo at some point here. Should be right the zip line. it's a bit of a waste of money really. One good thing about the zip line is if you're running trains down here, you can actually catch the zip line straight up to where you buy ammo for the PPSH. So you can buy it nice and quickly at the start of the round. Now we got a Nick. Another really good thing about this map is the lighting in it. Um, some maps have a lot of really cool detail, but they're really super dark. And this map is lit perfectly in all areas. And considering it's a, uh, it's a huge map, I think that he's done really, really well thinking of the lighting in this. And it looks fairly natural as well. But like I said earlier, this is definitely one of the best looking maps I've played in terms of detail, just everything, like, everything about this map looks amazing. Um, this might even be his, uh, his first map, I can't remember if Weezy's created any other maps before this one, he might have done, if so I don't think I've played any of them, but uh, he must have put a lot of time into this one, I'd say. Definitely not a box map, that's for sure. Um, Alright, so I'm really low on ammo now. I'm going to have to go and buy some, I think. Let's go another ammo run. I'm not going to worry about the PTRS because I might get a max ammo for that. And we'll just head back over here for the start of the next round. It's cool how you start with Molotovs in this as well. <laughs> Something a bit different. I'm pretty sure that that boss zombie can spawn from anywhere, but uh, I know he has spawned from here before. Oh damn, there's a zombie behind me. So it might be better off grouping them up and then spraying them with the PPSH to get collateral points. Guns getting hungry. Time to feed. Gonna need to get some ammo soon. Whoa. Just have to be careful not to get a block coming through there. Oh man. I hope they're all behind me. I don't want to get one slap and then get killed here. Just gotta be super safe. Well, pretty much halfway there now. I'd say it will probably take me another four rounds, maybe. Depending on how lucky we get with uh, max ammo and double points.
Okay, the boss zombie's coming through there. At least he is pretty much super slow the whole way through the game, unless he's the last zombie left, as I said before. <clears throat> if they made him uh, spawn as a runner in the higher rounds, it would have definitely made it a little bit more problematic. A ton of points off them. Here we go. Man, he takes some punishment, this guy. Gotta be careful not to kill this last zombie accidentally before I take care of this dude. There we go. Nice. Um, yeah, so we're nearly at 30,000. We might even beat it uh, a little bit quicker than I thought because there are a lot of zombies in these rounds now. I don't know if he's increased the standard number, but... Uh, Seems like it. I don't think it was using that anyway. Just have to be really careful I don't get trapped. I think we got pretty much 90% of the zombies in the uh, horde behind me here. we we'll get these last few, we'll start spraying them, see how many points we can get. Ah, oh, one of them bled out. They do tend to, to, to do that if you don't kill them after a certain amount of time and what it will. How good is that, guys? Double points drop. Just randomly from a, a zombie in the board. It's like, here you go. Has some extra points. Damn, guys. We are so close to 40,000 now. I don't know how many zombies we've got left in this round, but I might even get enough here at round 23. So we needed uh, 42,000. Yep, I'd say we're going to get it. Just, uh, just as I run out of ammunition. One more zombie should do it. There we go, we got the 42 grand, we can go by the ending. I might just use up the rest of my ammo here. I've got uh, 17 rounds left and none left in the Reaper. Hopefully we don't get blocked off and killed just before we buy it. That would suck. Let's line them up as they come through here. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Let's take a ride on the zip line just because it's there. And we've got a few points to burn. 
Um, I'm not gonna buy any ammo because then I won't have enough. Um, stick a belly down here. Whoa! Is there a crawler there or something? Something was hitting me. Okay, five rounds left. Actually, a little bit more. Oh! Now we've got five rounds left. Round up some rounds. Don't fuck with marine. I think... Oh, it's a nuke. Let's grab that and we'll make a sprint. Whoa! We'll uh, make a run for the Bible ending now. They're going to be spawning in everywhere, so... Hopefully I don't get blocked off because I have absolutely not a single bullet left in either gun here. I have to get down here. There's one guy. Oh, it's the boss zombie. Whoa! Back, dude. Keep your grimy paws to yourself. Okay, let's maybe uh, chuck a few final Molotovs. And uh, we will buy the ending in a second here. But a really cool map, guys. And we have been teleported to Doris from this Shino Numa style map. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Please remember to rate and comment and wheezy if you watch this video. Awesome job, mate. Look forward to your future maps. This one was outstanding. Thanks for watching, guys. Stick at your mouth.